with your plan. So each of these boss monsters gave us Resident Evil fans such a great time while fighting them in their respective games, with one constantly mutating into a more powerful transformation, while the other retained the same form throughout Resident Evil 6. But the question has to be asked, which of these monsters would win in all their different stages of their mutation, coming out as being one of the top BOWs in the Resident Evil universe? Anyways, what is up you guys, this is Heydeva, and in this video we're going to be covering William vs Ustanak, as we watch both of these monsters in a head to head matchup that would give a true sense of a great monster battle where we put William in all of his different stages of his G-mutation against Ustanok's different mechanical arms and his overall creativity during their battle. Anyways, before we get started with the video, please feel free to smash that like and subscribe button for more Resident Evil content in the future. Alright, so starting off, let's cover William's different G-mutations and how each stage would fare against Ustanok, where the very first battle would be William in his G1 form. With this transformation lacking the many appendages and claws of his later mutations, and still retaining some semblance of his human self, with the G-Virus having yet to completely take over William's body and mind, as we have him wield a pipe as his main weapon, being able to hit with much more force than any regular human being due to the enhanced strength that he's gotten from the G-Virus, taking advantage of his large mutated right arm with a grotesque G-Eyeball in full display. So the battle between William and Ustanok would be fairly quick in this stage, since William lacks the speed and versatility that Ustanok has. But we can see Ustanok make short work of William, blitzing from side to side, making William completely hopeless in this form. Also, Ustanok would target that large G eyeball of William, causing him to be stunned for a brief moment, with William's only chance of putting up a fight would be him trying to swing that pipe around Rexley like he did in Resident Evil 2 Remake. But even then it's still a lost cause, especially with Ustanok's many mechanical arms. but the fight would be a little bit more interesting when William mutates into a second form, now showcasing his claws from his right arm, while also having most of his semblance of his humanity almost gone. But instead blessed with a greater speed and strength overall, where he showcases his aspect when he's able to stop a full swing from a crate in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Also, his claws are something that Usanok has to be wary of, because we've seen him easily rip apart Mr. X, so being hit by one of his slashes may be detrimental, especially since Usanok doesn't have the regenerative abilities that we become accustomed to from the other BLWs in the Resident Evil series. With the main example of this was the accident that caused him to lose his right arm, prompting him to use a mechanical limb made for him. Anyways, with both faced head on, Usanok can still blitz from side to side like he did when facing William's first form, or maybe do a variety of acrobatic moves, which was shown when he was able to leap from one aircraft to the next. Also, we can discount that he can use his long range weapons as well, where he's able to use a minigun or shotgun type of weaponry of his right arm, keeping William at bay, also possibly aiming at his many G eyeballs that's on his body. But William can mitigate the long range attacks by possibly shielding himself with the larger mutated arms of his, similar in the way how Curtis did in Resident Evil Degeneration. Anyways, even with the upgraded strength and speed, William may still lose his fight because he still hasn't fully developed the other appendages that surround his body. Also, the use of only one side of his mutated claws makes him an easy target by going on the opposite side of his sharp appendages. But this of course can be counted on when he finally mutates into his third form.
because with this, Usanok has to be on his toes the whole time, not being careless and has to play it perfect when fighting William at this point. Because this G monster supports 4 large arms with claws, with a superhuman strength that can allow him to even throw large cylindrical containers at Usanok. But Usanok can still try to maneuver around William's attacks and projectiles, but he still has to be careful of not being pinned down by G. Because even if he did have enough strength to hold his own against a drill machine like we saw in Resident Evil 6, William would not only keep him down, but would also be slashing away at him like we saw in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Anyways, William's advantages of having multiple limbs may give him an edge up close, so Usanok can try to outsmart the G-Monster by keeping afar as much as possible, where he can shower him with as much bullets from his mechanical arm, regardless if William is able to shield himself or not. Also, another thing to consider is Usanok's way of interchanging his mechanical arms in the middle of the fight, because I'm sure that William would take advantage of that moment to eliminate Usanok as soon as possible. But William's weakness would be his many G-Eyeballs that can be a large target for Usanok, so he can try to hit them like we mentioned earlier in the video. Also, if he he's able to pop all of them, William will reveal his many G eyeballs that's hidden behind his chest wall area, while at the same time incapacitating him, making him an easy prey for Usanok's attacks. But with all the G eyeball weaknesses that William has, his regenerative ability can be compared to none, as he continues to mutate when he's hurt, but unfortunately for Usanok, that same trait of William would be absent for him, making him very vulnerable if William's able to rip a limb off, rendering him completely hopeless. Anyways, on a quick note, I want to consider William's fourth form from the original Resident Evil 2 and the Dark Star Chronicles, where he was called his dog form. Now moving on all fours, having the large orifice for chewing on his prey, looking monstrous as ever. So with this version of William, he can move very fast, where he's able to run at full speed, where he can also jump from platform to platform, and be able to walk on walls, even with an enlarged body. Anyways, with William in this form, he can be very versatile like Usanok, possibly matching him in speed as well. Also, what I found interesting with this transformation is that he's able to move fast enough to hide from his prey, and then later on ambushing them when their guard is down. Where is he? Can't be far. Be careful. So Usanok has to play it safe the whole time, and even if he tries to shoot William from afar, the G monster can try to cover the distance by using his newfound speed, which now would cause Usanok to fight in close quarters, and I don't think that will end well with him overall. Anyways, in the end, both monsters will give each other a difficult time during the battle, especially with their many aspects to their combat mechanics, so it's not surprising that they're on a lot of RE fans' top list of strongest BLWs. But overall, this battle will have to go to William in his peak transformation, which with the many limbs and claws may be too much for Usanok, and his regenerative capabilities would have him last much longer in the battle. Anyways, do you guys agree with my choice? Please let me know in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you guys can be notified when I upload my next video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day, and this is Hey Deva, signing out.